Hey guys, uh, what's going on? It's Counterspell Hater here, back with another EDH guide. Uh, this one is starring Goro Goro, uh, disciple of Ray Ryuse. Um, so, for for two mana, he is a legendary goblin samurai who can gives your who can give your creatures haste until their turn and create five five flyers. Um, if you are in a, if you are attacking with a modified creature, um, yeah, so this is going to be mostly like, uh, you're going to be seeing mostly like, uh, stuff that like utilizes dragons, uh, cause that's the kind of flyers he creates and also, uh, like equipment and auras and stuff and like those symbols and counters. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, first with Slumbering Dragon, uh, just one mana for a flying 3-3. Three, three. This is in here to just, you know, be an early game threat, quite possibly, especially against, like, mono white players, army players, things like that. People who tend to attack, uh, and if they are attacking you, this is going to get buffed up. And eventually when it wakes up, it's going to be big enough to be a threat. And it's going to have flying and, well, since since it has counters on it, it's going to be, it's going to count as a modified creature. Burning Tree Vandal for two generic, well, for three. Um, it's another creature. Uh, this allows you to draw to, I think it's a loot or... Not scavenge. Uh, anyways, it's one of the other terms. <laughs> uh, but uh, this allows you to like draw cards and you know you're in red. You have a difficult. You kind of you kind of have a difficult time drawing cards. But this also with it having right can either be a modified creature like right off the bat when errors in, or it can be a creature that just attacks right on the turn that it. One. Crucible of Fire to bump up your dragons by three, uh, both with power and toughness. Scourge of the Throne to, to give you uh, another attacks, attack phase, you know, kind of whittle, whittle away at someone's life total. Definitely great against, like, white players since they'll be gaining a lot of life for like aristocrats um anything that likes to gain life or just someone who's who's been you know unnoticed Ura Brask, the hidden uh just here to give our creatures haste that way we don't have to spend mana on our commander's ability to give them haste that's just like a bit more mana we save with them um and also with our opponents and with our opponents stuff and getting tapped, this is very beneficial because now this allows us to swing in easier because our opponents stuff is most likely going to be tapped because they're going to be because their creatures are going to be entering in tapped. Okay, Franco Ten Street Kingpin. Uh, he's in here because he's a creature who can modify himself uh, based off of attack, so it makes our attack worth it. Uh, and he can start creating us, uh, creating us an army in a hurry. Legion Warboss is a creature that can modify other creatures thanks to Mentor. And once again, kind of creates us an army in a hurry. And those tokens he creates, those one ones, uh, well, it will essentially guarantee we have, we always are attacking with a modified creature because their power will, will be lower than that Legion War Moth. Terror of the Peaks to really take advantage of our commander creating those five fives by turning them into immediate damage. Uh, also, flying five four, so spirit. Runaway Steam can take advantage of the fact we're mono red, so all spells we cast for the most part are just going to be red, so we can. So this creature can modify itself based off of that and add mana at the same time. 
Florida Feast and Famine to get our commander protection from black and from green and to help us with mana. Commander's Plate to give our commander even more protection or the creature that it's equipped with. Embercleave because we're attacking so much. Um, also even a uh, game winner. Forebearer, Forebearer's Blade, uh, nice equipment if our stuff dies. And well, this is just attached to another creature. Trailblazer's boost to take to take advantage of like the opportunity. Uh, because you know there's gonna be people who play Cabal Coffers and Tomb of an Urborg. Uh, there's also gonna be uh your occasional uh Nix. No, it's not Nix, it's uh Shrine to Nix players, whatever its name is. Uh you're either way in commander. You're gonna be having you're gonna have someone who's gonna have non-basic lands like on the field. Shield of the Avatar to uh, you know keep something alive, most likely our commander. Uh, since we're gonna be creating a lot of creatures, we only we want to give it some protection, and we're utilizing our creatures to do so. Stone Forge Masterwork, cheap equipment to give our so maybe power up one of our dragons or our goblin or our goblin commander since we're creating a bunch of goblins alongside our dragons so it could go either way pen and blade take advantage of create of us creating a whole bunch of tokens armor armory of ira ios essentially guaranteeing that we always have a moth eye creature that's titan that can also get stronger. Sword of the Animus to help with mana. Bell Mage's Bracers so we can double up our uh, activations of Goro 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 if I'm saying that right. Uh, you know, copy the ability that we activate. Illusionist Bracers to do the same thing, except for free. Rings of Bright Hearth do the same thing, except we just have to pay two generic. Luthio Form Engine, same thing. I know you can't see it all that well, but it does it. Strionic Resonator. Uh, oh, whoops. That's not it. Well, this can... It can it can feed off of these two, so bone of the god pharaoh. Uh, to also, I guess, kind of go along with strong resonator. Uh, since we'll have a lot of probably a lot of tapped creatures, since we'll be attacking a lot, take advantage. You know, make sure our opponents are losing life and not staying at a high life. Because as red, we don't want that priority and ultimate to, to take advantage of all the tokens we're creating to create more mana. So we're going to start like this if we turn our goblins into tokens. And from there, we turn our tokens into mill fodder. Thanks to Ultra Dementia here. We draw the Hellkite. So if we don't want to use Ultra Dementia, we can. Uh, Start generating six six flyers instead of five fives. Um, dragon Tempest to take to take advantage once more of our dragons being created uh, to deal more damage to players and or creatures in the web of war. Uh, take advantage, you know. Once again, taking advantage, bumping up. Uh, our creatures and giving them haste in case we don't have Ura Brass. And if I'm correct, yeah, unfortunately, the token isn't attacking that Goro, Goro uh, creates. So if it was, then this would have been nice. Shared animosity, however, since we're going to be having a uh, lot of tokens of the same type, a lot of creatures of the same type that we will be able to take advantage of that in combat. So we can possibly get through a lot for a lot of damage. 
Chancellor of the Forge, since we're making a lot of creatures, but maybe not at a steady enough rate that we can hang back and block. Well, none of this will allow us. Rift of Fury to give us multiple combats. Uh, Warstorm Surge to once again turn our dragons that we create as we are attacking into immediate damage. Kindred Charge, possibly for the win, uh, depending on how many dragons and or creatures we may have. Eldrazi Conscription, turn one of our creatures into a rather heavy hitter, start whittling away at our opponent's board, thanks to that Annihilator 2 and plus 10 plus 10 and Trample stat. There's some bloodletting to double the damage on a specific player, so maybe the threat at the table, or like, once again, like white players, that way they can't gain life enough to, you know, keep them alive. Stone Coil Serpent uh, can be played turn one, can be played turn at 70. Either way, it's going to end up modified because you got to spend X on it. And it's a great uh, creature because uh, reach, trample, and protection from multicolored. I mean, what more could be really asked for? Uh, probably protection from all colors. Hangerback Walker. Um, can create an army in a hurry when it dies, or it can just be a big attacker or blocker, depending on how much mana you pump into it, and it can always make itself bigger for when it dies, or for when it's attacking, by the way, as a modified creature. Endless one, same thing. Mirage Fury of Akon to take advantage of the one land we play each turn, make it count for even more. Allow us to attack even more, deal more damage. Full Surge Elemental, take, take advantage of how many creatures we are creating, maybe in a turn. Uh, and the first strike can make it a great blocker. Curve Throws to once again turn our creatures into immediate damage as we create them and to buff up our board if need be and be an indestructible blocker. Astronauts Ultra to, to turn. The creatures into even more mana than Firexion Altar could, but it's colorless. So once again, possibly turning our goblins that we may be may or may not be creating into dragons, well, into mana to create dragons or something else. Dream Shaper Shaman, so that we can possibly instead of going the mill route or the Utava Hellkite route, we go for a route that involves creatures being cheated into play by sacrificing our dragons that we create, thanks to Dream Shape or something. Mana Echoes to give us more mana when a dragon enters in, or a goblin. Coat of Arms to buff up everyone, like a lot. Sign of Draco to give all of our guys first strike, since they're all going to be red. Uh, and also be, I guess, something to spend mana on if Need be, you know, nothing to do. And to have the eternal, we're red. We want to deal damage. We also want to take advantage of it. So help us with mana as well. Spine Rock Mule, you know what it does. I've explained plenty. Isolated Watchtower, you've seen this enough. And then from there, it's just all uh, basic mountains. 48 to be exact. And with that, the end of this kind of guy drawing Guru Guru, Disciple of Rice, 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 you say? I don't know. Um, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, we're only at 18, two away from 20, and then we can do 20 sub special. Woohoo. Um, if you're the first to comment on this video, you have the benefit of being able to choose the commander, whether it's a legit or custom, so be, so be the first one. And comment anyways, I like feedback. Uh, hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss more of this content. Um, share this video along with other videos uh, you may or may not have seen with others. Watch my videos. I like the view count going up. I like all the positive feedback. And thank you. Goodbye.